I really wanted to talk about this. I'm glad I have an opportunity on... Okay, everyone who's a spiritual seeker, one of my secrets is going to spiritual groups. And, uh, and the reason I... And I wanted to talk a little bit about 12-step groups. Uh, I mean, what's the best place... I mean, if you've got an enlightened teacher in town, you know, if Buddha's in, in London, if Buddha's, visit, if Buddha's visiting London, and uh, or Dr. Hawkins is visiting London, or Jesus has just arrived. <laughs> 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 so next door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then it's like it's, it's like Buddha, Buddha, Buddha would be the highest vibration, vibratory group and presence to be around. So I'm going. First choice is Buddha. If Buddha's in London. Uh, <laughs> Then, then it's like, um, the Course in Miracles is at the level of enlightenment. The lessons are at the level of enlightenment. You know, the world's an illusion. You can try and, there's nothing in this world for you. There's just shattered dreams for you if you chase the illusion. That's what the Course says if you go over it. Everything in here is an illusion. So dissolve everything and find the truth. And the truth is not in form. The truth is beyond form. So experience that which is formless beyond the world of form. Do not look in the world of form. Otherwise, you'll experience pain. It does say that in there, if you read the certain, certain lessons. That is the level of enlightenment, and that is very high guidance for transcending the world. I know certain Course in Miracles students and teachers don't say that, but it also does say that. Um, but you don't have to take it at that level. So if you take non-dual teachers, Course in Miracles, those groups will have a high level of transcendence. So any group energy at that level will be a good group. So if I was going to Course in Miracles groups, non-stop. But 12-step groups, I do a lot of 12-step groups, and I am from an addiction background. Uh, and so I, so I have a lot of affinity with 12 steps and the suffering of addiction. So 12-step groups are, it's not at the level of enlightenment, it's at the level of unconditional love. But those groups, you can, you can go into those groups and you will benefit from the field energy of those groups. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, Course in Miracles groups, great. Uh, Non-dual teachers of enlightenment, great. So this is the ranking. Shouldn't say ranking, should I on video, but anyway. Enlightened teachers, non-dual teachings, which I prefer. Uh, second would be like groups at the level of enlightenment and transcendence, like the Course in Miracles and non-dual non groups. Any like, sorry, any enlightened teachers that you suggest nowadays? Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything on enlightened teachers. Okay, okay. Right. so you can speak, other people will give you recommendations. You'll hear from others, but uh, uh, so there's enlightened teachers, and then uh, I would, I would go twelve, I'd go twelve step, twelve step groups. Um, I want to say this on video for everyone who's watching and who's suffering. Like, 12-step groups are everywhere, all over the place. You just like, like in London, there's probably like, I don't know, like 2,000 a week going on. Sure. You know, you could be in a 12-step group from 7 a.m. in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, non-stop. Yes. You know, that is the level of intensity of 12-step groups. Uh, I know one, one, just one, one different group has about 700 meetings a week. That's one, and you have hundreds, you know, different fellowships across the board. So, uh, like I went to a place today where I can just get three meetings in the same place, one after the other. Mm -hmm. So that exists. That is at the level of unconditional love. Mm -hmm. So I can just not even have travel time interrupt me. So, like if you're, um, for people who are not familiar with 12-step groups, this is, I mean, I, I say this from the heart, but, you know, like find something that you can belong to. You know, codependency, love addiction, sex addiction, debting, under earning. I mean, everyone can go to under. I mean, you know, like be, just pretend you're an under earning and could earn more money. You can go to under earnings anonymous. It's not. It's not that shameful. You know. Um, uh, so there's debt, under earning. You've got parents who are addicts, um, and they've they've got things for everything. But there is a group energy. I don't even go there for to hear something new. It's like the, I can do my own spiritual practice, but it's a field of unconditional love. The energy field is unconditional love. Mm. If, I'm in a, if I'm in a rave club, you know, with gangster rap music on it, and I'm doing my spiritual work, that is an environment which is less than, you know, it's not a good vibration. 
to have to do, you know, you're going to be fighting. So they are like, if you're a spiritual seeker, you know, like uh, Al Anon. And you have open groups too. Right? And you have open groups. It's important to say also, it's oh, important thank time. you, yeah. You can just go check out these open groups. You can go to open groups of Alcoholics Anonymous. You don't have to be an alcoholic. Open groups, drug fellowships, all you the fellowships. Google, the, uh, Google them. Google. Mm -hmm. I, in my book, Bulletproof Peace, I actually wrote a chapter on all the different types of 12 step groups, which I was trying to encourage people to attend. Mm -hmm. But just group, Google, Google 12 step, different 12 step groups on Google, or, and you'll get, there's loads of them. So, I do that as a trick, not to get the message, but to get the vibration. Mm -hmm. I want my vibration, or you know, if I could live in, if there was like non, you know, there are places like that have meetings non-stop nearly going on, uh, you know, one after the other, sort of. Um, in America, more so. Mm -hmm. But uh, but you know, if there was a place, if the, you know, I should hold it in mind. There should be like a course in miracle center mm -hmm. in London with mm -hmm. non-stop groups going around mm -hmm. the clock. Then I'd be like, I'd wake up, go sit there and do my spiritual work. Would you and go be, to sleep? Huh? Would you go to sleep at all? Or would you just sit in a... Even if I'm exhausted, this is what I do. If I'm tired, I'll just go to a meeting and go to the observer and lose track or just nod off or just even rest in a 12-step group. I say this to people. You're exhausted. <laughs> we'll have a nap in a 12-step group. Don't listen. Mm -hmm. It's better than having a nap in your home. I, I really believe that. Because just so you don't have to listen to the group, just sit and meditate or rest or snore or whatever it is, and you have the field effect of unconditional love. You're soaking up that energy. When two or more are gathered mm. in the name of the higher power, there is a powerful energy field. Yes. In A Course of Miracles, when two or more are gathered, uh, you know, there is a holiness and a sanctity in that group energy mm. than you sitting alone in your room. Mm. You know, if, yeah. even if you nap, and sleep and go, I'm going to lie down in the back of this room for an hour and take a nap. I, I would do that rather than nap in a field of a lower vibration. Mm -hmm. So when you're going through, and I know this is, you know, and this is what I actually do. I do my, my enlightenment work, but I'll, I'll, I'll go to the observer in a 12-step group or in a Course in Miracles group. You know, you do your practice. You I'm not going in these, I'm leaning on group energy fields the highest group energy fields that can surround me on a non-stop basis. Mm -hmm. I personally wouldn't go and, you know, I, you know, if I have a choice between non-stop 12-step groups and non-stop Course in Miracles groups and sitting in the park, I would choose 12-step groups and Course in Miracles groups. Mm -hmm. Or even, or if it was like, I don't know, Bud Buddhist meditation. Yeah. I don't do Buddhist meditation. Yeah, so in silence. Be quite a few Buddhist groups. And yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm sure. So I'd find the group, the power of the group, you don't have to listen to, the, you know, people get annoyed because people are talking. You don't have to listen to people talking. You, know, you can zone that out. But, I, you know, I, I do that. People say I want to be at home, in my room alone, and do my transcending work when you're having a tough time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know the, the, the home environment, your, your home has a vibration. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. spiritual groups have a vibration. And I'm going to, like, do my spiritual work in the best vibrations and the highest vibrations I can because I want enlightenment. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm trying to do enlightenment and Buddha and Buddha sitting next to me, it's going to be easier mm -hmm. than if I'm, you know, and it'll be easier, a 12-step group is going to be easier than my home. And my home is going to be easier than a rave club. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want to make my life as easy as possible if I can lean on groups. Mm -hmm. And there are hundreds of groups. And everyone can be a member, you know, there's open groups. But actually, I think you'll find all those people who haven't got any problems, if you sit in enough 12-step groups, you'll start identifying that you're a love addict, you're codependent, you like spending money when you're feeling emotions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you eat extra donuts every time you haven't got enough money, you haven't got enough money to last the end of the month. You think you haven't got a problem, but just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go, I don't, I'm not eligible, um, mm. you know, uh, you buy constant lottery tickets and you're not gambling, uh, so, um, mm. so you can, you know, but I would just go, if you're eligible, partly go, because you lean on the vibrate, and those groups, I go to groups which I aren't, I'm not proper, they all welcome me, I haven't really got that, but they know I'm, I've got the problem of I use the world to escape. Mm. 
and they all know that I do that and I do and, and I, I know God doesn't mind me going in these groups and they all accept me no one says like you're not exactly what's on the tin like you shouldn't be here they all accept me I've not had a problem anyone telling me not because if you want that that's for freedom there's just a path it's an excuse you know alcohol is an excuse to join the members club you know uh, love addiction is an excuse to join that members club so that's a bit of an advert for 12-step groups, uh, uh, which you're not supposed to do anyway, but anyway. Uh, but I didn't mention any of the ones I joined, so I'm just talking in a general fashion.